today, NVIDIA's D is way bigger than you think. Next gen Battle Mage GPUs leak everywhere. Here's NVIDIA's trick to raise prices, and all the GPUs are coming. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, I recently went over a leak showing off NVIDIA's RTX 5090D logo, which is of course China's version of the 5090 made to get around US export restrictions. Well, today we get an interesting leak from a well-known leaker on the Chipel forums. You can see this is Panzerlead, and he claims that there's no hardware difference between the 5090 and 5090D. What's odd is that the entire point of the 5090D is to lower its computational power to get by restrictions. Now, that doesn't mean it won't have any of those restrictions, but if this is right, it means they won't be hardware restrictions, meaning they'll likely do something like restrict performance in the BIOS. And do you know what that reminds me of? Remember when NVIDIA put restrictions on gaming GPUs when used by miners? They basically halved the hash rate when you were using one of those GPUs. Well, yeah, that was basically useless because people found ways around it almost immediately. Well, that didn't work. Not to mention that someone leaked the full BIOS. So yeah, this could end up being a huge problem for the company, but I guess we shall see. So how about I've pretty much been screwed over for years? For as long as I can remember, I've been buying domains at GoDaddy. It's embarrassing, I know, because I recently found out that I've been overpaying by a lot. It happened when I was contacted for a sponsor slot by a domain registrar called Porkbun, and while researching it, I found out just how much I was overpaying. Needless to say, they're the sponsor of this video. And today, Porkbun is offering any .pro domain name for just a dollar for the first year when you visit my link in the description. If you didn't know, .pro is made specifically for professionals like freelancers, consultants, landscapers, roof or any business establishment with an online presence. Of course, Porkbun offers .com, .net, and all of those as well, which are all at a great price. But even besides the fact that they're way cheaper, you get a free SSL certificate with any domain. There's a reason Porkbun was named the number one registrar by USA Today in 2023 and 2024. So manage all of your domain needs and get your first year of a .pro domain for just a dollar by visiting my link in the description below. Hello. And next up for today, Intel's next-gen Battle Mage GPUs are leaking everywhere. I'm talking the cards themselves, specs, pricing, and more. So let's get right to it. Starting things off, we have confirmation from ZDNet Korea that Intel's next-gen GPUs, you can see it right down here, it says, quote, an official from a domestic PC company who requested anonymity explained, based on information related to the supply chain, that Intel Arc second-generation graphics card products based on the second-generation XE Core Battle Mage are expected to be released before the end of the year at the latest. So basically, they're coming this year like earlier rumors suggested. Then we have some actual third-party cards themselves that leaked, proving that these are in fact right around the corner. And as you can see, this is the B580. In fact, both of these are the B580, which it does actually look to be the only card releasing. And I'll have a bit more info on that later in the video. But as you can see, it's set to come with 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, which is actually a bit of a boost over the current gen's A580, which only comes with eight. But then it actually has a factory overclock speed of 2.8 gigahertz. And this is a huge boost over the current gen's GPU 1700 megahertz. With that said, this is kind of all over the place. It's a little better, way better, but then things actually get a little bit worse because as you can see right here, we actually have a leaked benchmark and in it, this is the benchmark itself, but in it, the card is listed with 160 compute units, which makes for a total of 20 XE2 cores. And compare that to the current gen card, you can see that it came with 24, meaning the B580 is set to come with fewer cores than the current gen A580. Hopefully the memory and clock speed increases can more than make up for it, but it's not looking all that great. Now, when it comes to that benchmark, I will actually say that it's clearly an early benchmark because it scored worse 
than the current Gen A580, so I really wouldn't take much from that. When it comes to the price, the limited edition version has actually been listed on multiple websites for around $250. It does show some prices quite a bit more, but you can see that most of these are right around 250 bucks. And that may not be all that bad, but I'd argue it'll really boil down to performance. Next up, do you remember when Nvidia released their first Titan GPU? It was effectively marketed as a compute card for people who also game. It was basically a great all-around GPU, and it was also one of the fastest gaming GPUs out there, other than the GTX 690, but that was basically two GPUs in one. The thing is that it was nowhere near as fast as it was in proportion to the price. At the time, it was roughly 120% more expensive with just 50% more performance compared to the GTX 680. And ordinarily, that would be an absurd proposition. But because Nvidia pushed it as more of a compute card, they could charge a premium for it without upsetting gamers. Don't get me wrong, Nvidia's GTX Titan came with some really great benefits for professionals, so it was a nice card, but the trick is in the marketing. And this brings me to the main story. In a new leak from Moore's Law is Dead, a source claims that Nvidia is telling retail that any GPU above the 5070 Ti are quote, really for professionals. Do you see what they're doing here? They're taking a GPU that's really made for gaming, but because it can be used in AI, given the tensor cores, they can up the price, claiming that it's just for professionals. All while knowing that people who were willing to spend $1,500 on the 4090 wouldn't mind spending $2,000 or more for the 5090. So they get to market it as more of a professional GPU to avoid any kind of scrutiny they would get from the general public for increasing the price by so much. And given Moore's Law is dead, is claiming that the 5080 and 5070's pricing remains where it was previously forecasted, which for the 5080 is as much as $1,500, it makes sense why they're telling retail that the GPUs above the 5070 Ti are these professional cards. I mean, the 5080 at 1500 bucks? This has gotten completely out of hand. And lastly for today, it looks like everyone is gearing up to release their next-gen GPUs. Starting things off, we're first going to quickly look at this slide once again that we went over in the last video. But what I didn't cover is, for one, the fact that according to this, both the RTX 5090 and 5080 will be announced at CES. Not only that, but according to this, the RTX 5070 series is expected to be teased and then fully revealed in January, so it likely won't be released until, say, maybe February. Don't forget that CES itself is right at the beginning of January, so these cards will likely release right in January, and then you can also see that it says that NVIDIA retail partner, this is another stores, both of these are actually NVIDIA retail partners, but this other one also said we just started talks with NVIDIA over how much allocation we want of the RTX 5090 and 5080. That means they are almost certainly launching at the same time. So yeah, there's actually been a bit of a back and forth as to whether the 5080 would also release with the 5090, but According to this, it looks like that will in fact be the case. Not only that, but from the same video from Moore's Law is Dead, he says that he can now 100% confirm that the full unveiling of RDNA 4 will be at CES of next year, which once again is at the beginning of January. And then finally, when it comes to Battle Mage, he's also confirming that the B580 is going to be launching in 2024. Basically, it looks like all three chip makers are set to launch their next-gen GPUs in the coming month or two, meaning this is about to be some huge releases here. Definitely something to get excited about, but of course, given some of those prices that we've seen from Nvidia, also something to be at least a little concerned about. With that said, unfortunately, it's looking like from this leak right here, you can see that I, Intel, have bad news to communicate today. The G31, so this is set to be the highest end B770 die, hasn't taped out yet. And at this point, it's unclear if it ever will, meaning things really are not looking great for Intel. Not only that, but when we look at the B580, you can see it says, I, Intel, can confirm 
that it's expected to be between 5 and 15% faster than the A770. Now, I'm not going to lie, that's a higher end GPU, so that actually isn't all that bad, but according to this, it'll offer worse efficiency than the RTX 4060. Basically, it's a 7600 XT 12 gigabyte. And obviously, that's really not too bad, especially if we are talking around $250. But given the fact that this is an older GPU at this point, and yet this is Intel's next gen, and it requires four nanometers, it really isn't all that impressive. With that said, I really hope Intel does succeed here, and I definitely hope they don't give up on GPUs, simply because competition is of course great, but we are gonna be finding out what each company has to offer in the next month or two. And of course, if you wanna keep up with all of that, make sure you subscribe to GamerMelt. So while that does it for today, which GPU are you hoping to buy when they're released? Intel, AMD, or Nvidia? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to purchase your new domain from Porkbun down in the description below. And as always, have a great day.